Hey guys, Tech Divers here. I just found an awesome new application for Windows and I wanted to show it to you guys because if you're a 3D printer and you're sick of digging through piles and piles of STL files by name, you are gonna love this. And what is this? Well, check this out. This is one of my folders full of STL files. Now I have several of these and as you can see, they get quite full and the list can be kind of long and I mean look at all these G2 timing belt pulleys uh, sometimes it's not the easiest to see just by reading the name so I found this amazing extension that goes in and it processes those STL files to show you what they look like as a thumbnail now it doesn't work in the smaller version like this but if I have my view set to show icons or even extra large icons um, that's great. It does take a little bit to process, but I found it very, very quick for running through large folders and finding models that I want relatively quickly. So uh, it does work really, really well so far. Um, I've only been trying it out for a couple days, but I've really enjoyed it. So I, I think it's something that you might want to take a look at yourselves and check out because it makes the whole process of finding particular files um, extremely well, more streamlined, I guess, is what you should say. So let's see. Let's see some other files here. Um, I'm really kind of just enjoying looking through my folders um, now that I can see. And I mean, it does have a lot of files in here to go through and load, and it loads them one by one. So if I just give it a second, we'll load all of them. Um, but in smaller folders where there's only a few files, uh, which if you keep your stuff more organized than I do, it's not that hard to so you see all the fingers the hand uh, all sorts of stuff so this is awesome so if you'd like to see how to get this tool let me show you uh, it is actually right here all you got to do is type in STL thumbnail or go to go to Marlin 3d printer tool dot se okay um, and then once you're there you're gonna want to click the download file there are if you go to installation here a couple different ways to download uh, this will take you to the GitHub. If you don't feel like going through all of that, go ahead and just click the Marlin 3D printer tool right here. Download it and install it. Uh, it's going to ask for administrator for permission, obviously. It's going to do some things in the registry to make it able to read these files and show you what they are. But once you've done that, what you're going to want to do once you've installed it, um, because it doesn't make that change right away, this is actually an extension of the program that we're using to do this. So what we need to do is go into our main disk drive, um, and program files and this is program file 86 and you can see it right here Marlin 3d printer tools you want this one right here Marlin 3d printer tool STL configuration application double click that guy it's gonna ask you if you really want to open it up yes you do and you will get a window like this so what you need to do at this point is click install and register STL thumbnail I've already done that so I'm not going to if you have done that and it hasn't changed the icons already, it should change them to gray. If it doesn't do that automatically, go ahead and hit Restart Windows File Explorer. If the icons start to show up and it starts to load them, I would recommend hitting the color on STL right here and picking a different color. Now you can render them in any color in the preview, um, but some of them are harder to see than others depending on the size of the thumbnail that you're using. So let's take a look at a different color here. And you can see actually how quickly it doesn't even make me wait. Uh, it, it immediately starts loading them in that purple or violet color. Um, I don't even have to close that or anything. So um, let's see here if we can try a different color. It looks like it's not reloading the other ones. So let's try one more time to grab. Um, oh, I have two of these open. So let's see if we can make it change the color as we look. This is that regular blue color that it was here. And it's not changing them. So at this point, what I would do is go ahead and hit that uh, File Explorer button. Um, and it should reload all of that. But uh, like I said, the gray I picked was a lot easier to see than the blue that they had. 
And like I said, this is a really, really awesome tool. I, I like it a lot. Um, in fact, it does show on my desktop too. Now this is the left side of my desktop, so none of my stuff's over here. Uh, but it does show the icons on the desktop as well as STLs. And it's really, really cool. So yeah, pop on over, give it a look. If you like this video, guys, you like the tips, don't forget to subscribe. I check stuff like this out all the time and I'm really into finding really cool, unique uh, software and things that make the printing process a little bit easier. I, I find it really enjoyable and I really, really like the look of these icons, especially on my desktop, it's really clean. And that's gonna be it guys, thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to become a Technivore, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and YouTube suggesting a video for you right here. And there's a playlist right here that's just 3D printing stuff. Also, if you'd like to see your name up top with the rest of my Patreon supporters, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. There, YouTube can contribute to the channel and make the Technivorous channel even better.